Hey everybody, you got Wyatt here. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a cross-chain swap using HTTP from the Ethereum network into Constellation, uh, more specifically a Constellation that's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen here. So the flow of, of this demo here is that we're gonna show uh, Ethereum, or sorry, ETH, moving from the Ethereum network into a Constellation liquidity pool and having that update a DAG balance um, for a form associated um, destination address. So first thing we want to do here is create our Ethereum uh, transaction. What we want to do is show the um, sample destination address for our liquidity pool uh, here and we want to want this to show up inside of the Ethereum transaction. So we can see that that's been processed on the Ethereum network and that this um, extra data inside the data field is going to be used by our network in order to populate um, a balance inside of a liquidity. So let's get started here. First thing we want to do is run our generate sample um, ETH transaction app. This is going to create a signed transaction um, that in a hex format, which we can then upload uh, directly to, uh, I think this is the Rinkby um, testnet. Let me copy that. Um, so now that we've created this transaction, we'll verify that once um, we look at Etherscan in a second, we're going to run our uh, actual cross-chain app here. Oops, let me kill that. Cool. And then we're going to run our cross-chain app here. This actually creates um, our monadic execution context for consensus, which is called a cell. Specifically, um, this is a cell that was defined for cross-chain swaps between Ethereum and uh, Constellation. Uh, looks like it's up and running. Okay, we're making snapshots. Cool. All right. So then now let me put that there. So I'm going to now put the hex of this new transaction right here. Great. Looks like it's been received. Great. Emission succeeded. Okay. So this should be um, the hash of, oops, of our transaction here. Cool. All right. It has been processed and it is still undergoing consensus. Um, wanted to have this pre baked, but it's kind of hard to show. Oh, cool. All right. We got a block. Worked. All right. Great. So here we got our block. Uh, here we can verify that this is actually what we believe it is, sending it to our correct destination. And boom, we have the destination address of our liquidity pool. All right. So let's take a look over here in our actual logs. Great. Okay. Now we've received the ETH block that actually has the valid uh, validated ETH transaction in it. And that was then received by our um, cross chain swap cell as the first step in the validation process. Now that we've received that, however, the actual cell is able to take that validated um, ETH block and then was able to actually create um, an updated DAG balance from that Ethereum balance. Okay, here we go. We can see that we actually created DAG with a value of 1.245, um, just due to some pre baked configuration on value between the swaps. So, yeah. Um, and the long and short of it, we were able to send uh, Ethereum from the Rinkby network into our Constellation liquidity pool and update the DAG balance um, accordingly. So, this is a reproducible demo uh, that is on GitHub, and I will share a link to everybody but uh, we have at least been able to see the full flow of Ethereum going from one ledger into our liquidity pool ledger and then populating a corresponding amount of DAG. So yeah, full flow, really happy to, to share that with you guys and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.